Good evening. I'm Stacy Scheibel. I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us tonight. New developments in a breaking aid on your side investigation. A big apology from Mosaic to its neighbors, the community, and Polk County for keeping a contaminated little secret. So why the big case of we're sorry? Well, for failing to timely notify people living near its new wells plant in Mulberry of a sinkhole that sucked hundreds of millions of gallons of radioactive water into the aquifer. Senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews broke the story last week. He's back tonight with an important update that includes that overdue apology. Keith, before I get into that, let's show you what this sinkhole looked like five days ago and what it looks like today. Uh, this is what we spotted uh, Thursday as we flew over in Eagle 8 HD. This thing uh, developed under a gypsum stack at the fertilizer plant in Mulberry. Notice it's, it's round, it is circular, uh, about 45 feet across at this point. Today, this hole is getting bigger. It's widening. It appears as though the walls are eroding, cracking, separating. It looks as though it's about to collapse. Now, Florida's Department of Environmental Protection claims it's all over this, but the guardians of our environment have been dead silent about this, all of this, from the get-go. So who's watching to make sure that contaminated water that fell through this massive sinkhole at a mosaic plant in Mulberry is kept out of our water supply? Mosaic apologized for not being up front, but after sitting for 19 days on information about millions of gallons of radioactive water dropping into the aquifer, Mosaic admittedly has trust issues. Is anybody going to be fired for not coming forward? Uh, that, that would call for speculation that we're not going to get into right now. Polk County officially became aware of this sinkhole September 9th. It failed to notify the public, too. Did you do enough? As far as notifying our constituents, the, um, the problem is, what do you tell them? Uh, you know, uh, we had possible danger coming your way. Commissioners I've spoken with feel it was up to Mosaic to make news of the sinkhole and aquifer contamination public. Constituents don't elect Mosaic, they elect you folks to the county commission, and the county commissioners, as far as I know, or Polk County government didn't let the public know. Mm -hmm. It's your responsibility, isn't it? Um, morally, yes. Polk County does not have the expertise to monitor this hole, the leak, or contaminated groundwater. So it will rely on, in large part, Mosaic. We shouldn't rely just on Mosaic. DEP needs to be given us uh, daily updates. Mm -hmm. And they haven't? No. No, we haven't heard from anyone. In Tallahassee today, DEP, the agency responsible for guarding our environment, couldn't whisk Deputy Director Gary Clark away fast enough from our Mike Vasilinda. We can set something up later. No, you haven't. That. We've tried to reach you for three or four days, and you don't return our calls, and, <laughs> and you are avoiding this again. I just don't understand why you don't want to say we made a mistake. I'd like to know what that guy's chuckling about, first of all. At uh, today's Polk County Commission meeting, Mosaic announced the DEP is also offering to test the wells of neighbors. But how would you know? DP, DEP isn't talking. The governor today told us he thinks DEP is doing a good job, but he believes in transparency. Well, if he believes in transparency, how can they be doing a good job? Because they obviously have been anything but transparent in this situation. I don't this know where is to, distressing. I don't know where to begin. I mean, if I'm living near this plant and I'm watching people running away from cameras, I'm hearing commissioners say, what do you tell them? They say, well, why don't you start by telling us the truth? What yeah. is going on in our neighborhood? You're, we're talking about these wells being tested. When do we get results back from that? I mean, we want to trust Mosaic, I suppose, but where's the proof? Well, that's a good question. Now, we could uh, be getting some results as soon as tomorrow. And if no contaminants are found, that doesn't mean we're in the clear. Because according to Mosaic, this water moves at about 1,000 feet per month in that part of the aquifer. So they're going to have to be testing these wells for some time, probably seven, eight months, maybe a couple years down the road, and to make sure this stuff has not gotten through. As you say, it's troubling. And as you also showed, that wall that perhaps could collapse in and make this hole even bigger. Who knows what's You know, to come. there's nothing like transparency in government, and this is nothing like transparency <laughs> in government. Thank you, Steve. I know you're going to stay on it for us. And if you live near Mosaic and you want to request a water test, here's the telephone number to call. It's area code 813-500-6575. Again, 813-500-6575. We've also posted this number for you on our website, wfla.com.